Moving on to the next presentation, Pavel Anashkin will make a presentation of from phase one imagery to true ortho and 3D. Hello, dear colleagues. According to our long-standing tradition, my presentation comes right after Yuri Reisman's presentation, and it invariably expands the existing experience by using the products that Yuri overviewed in his presentation. First of all, I'd like to thank the company Rockers and the the organizer of this conference, which is already 19th time, which provides this unique opportunity to the professional community to share their experience and uh, see and learn something new from their colleagues. In fact, back to the title of my presentation. In 2018, our company was the first one in Russia, and so far the only one in Russia, is the owner of the product Phase 190 RP. Yuri showed you the pictures. This is what it, what this system looks like. Screenshots of the software suite. In 2018, now about the results. In 2018, we did the following aerial projects to build the uh, orthophotos on one to two thousand scale and navigation plans of cities of the same scale with a population of over over one million people. We did aerial photography with a resolution of ten centimeters and uh, eighty by forty percent overlap for more than 3,000 square kilometers. For digital orthophotos for settlements at the uh, scale of 1 to 2,000, 1 to 10,000, we did the uh, 15 resolution centimeter, centimeter resolution with overlap 60 by 30 for more than 12,000 square kilometers. Aerial photography by our system is done with a regular aircraft, well-known Russian and Two, some people call it corn plane, at the speeds of 150 to 200 kilometers per hour. In 2019, we have done the following aerial photography projects to build digital orthophotos of settlements at the scale of 1 to 2,000. We did the 14 centimeter resolution with the 80 by 40 overlap for more than 1,000 square kilometers for the digital orthophotos of settlements and uh, villages and uh, at 1 to 2,000, 1 to 10,000 scale resolution and inter settlement territories we did 60 by 30 overlap for more than 40,000 square kilometers and also this year we captured one of the 1 million population cities, Samara, more than 500 square kilometers um, we had 14 centimeter resolution with 80 to 40 overlap. In 2019, aerial photography project included more than 700 uh, flight hours and 50, more than 50 flights per se. Of course, these two years that we went through with this new aerial photography system had their own snags and problems. One of the most popular problems in 2019 that nobody uh, is safe from, it's, there is no insurance from that, it's uh, adverse weather. Unfortunately, this flight season proved to be quite problematic. And as of June 15th, we are capturing the area of Samara. As of June 15th, in over three months already, we've had no more than 15 flight days. Also, we had problems with the equipment and um, software. We had some uh, loss of synchronization in the 
shutters of two lenses. There are two lenses that show to you that the images were stitched. We did notice this problem, but the uh, manufacturer reacted to it on time, and they updated the software, and they rectified these problems. Also, there was some problem with gyro platform and its performance. In some cases, it uh, tilted the camera to some constant value, but again, in uh, through networking with the manufacturer, we rectify this as well. Generally speaking, the performance of aerial uh, camera phase one, RS1900, and the whole system in different modes of aerial photography, 70-80% higher than other middle format cameras. To compare it to such majors and large format cameras like DMC2, and then phase one has similar swath and uh, insignificant, with an insignificant increase of the number of images by about 15-20% of images increase with the identical parameters of the imaging. A few examples from the this season. This is the town of Samara, the stadium where in 2018 it was hosting the World Championship. This is the central part of Samara and uh, Gagarin Park, also in Samara. Comparing the two years, you can see the drastic increase in the overall area of imaging. At the moment, we believe that about 40 to 50,000 square kilometers per flight season, this aerial system can is quite capable of covering. For a middle format camera, I believe this is quite an achievement. Speaking about the images themselves, the photomod uh, software allowed us to control the quality, which uh, resulted in the acceptable in interpretation properties of these images. You can clearly dis interpret linear objects such as uh, uh, road markings, uh, coastline, as well as the power lines and power line poles and their shadows. Speaking about the experiments and testing that we do to understand the range of use of this complex, in principle it can be done. Our specialists are actively doing their test experimental work based on the aerial photography projects. As an experiment, we have done aerial photography of substation with a 3 centimeter resolution. Overlaps was 80 by 40. Photogrammetric project was created in Photomod. New opportunities uh, opportunities of Photomod 6.4 allowed us to create dense uh, DM and the density is similar to geometrical resolution of aerial photography. This slide shows the dense point cloud built by photogrammetric method uh, by uh, excluding the shifts and uh, noises, and you can build it out of the point cloud. The automatically built horizontals have been analyzed and rechecked in stereo mode for the accuracy of interpolation, and the verification showed the horizontal horizontals have high level of detail. Yet another experiment that we did to demonstrate the building of photomod of the dense point cloud at the solid waste landfill in Samara. The precision of the model was 25 centimeters on ground. And this is the 3D model of this site. Also, we have tested the possibilities of our camera along with the software photomod in building the true ortho. As source data for true author, we used multiple images from different angles, which is possible only with aerial photography with significant uh, 
uh, significant overlaps. For true author, we suggest that we have at least 90 by 90 percent overlaps. In our case, the imaging was made for the work that we did for 1 to 2,000 scale. We, did, we had an overlap of 80 by 40 percent. As objects of testing to build true author, we have selected tall residential buildings. We built real true authors, and we had them totally free of any blind areas and uh, the images of the roofs and contours have been preserved. You can see it on this slide, the result of this true author and the building of the 3D image. This is the image of the town of Novosibirsk, of the houses in Novosibirsk. Also this year we tested a true author capacity in Samara and here the resolution was a bit less 14 centimeters and the result proved to be quite good as well the ac accuracy analysis showed that the quality of the output is totally in line with the normative documents that we have allows us to uh, allowing us to address multiple tasks of uh, mapping and other th tasks Despite the fact that the uh, software developers uh, recommend 90 by 90 overlap, we managed to build true authors even with the aerial photography done with 80 by 40 overlap. And uh, in fact, we can make a conclusion that the aerial photography system phase one along with the software photo mod, even with the standard overlap parameters can build true authors that can be used for mapping as materials having better uh, interpretation properties. Thank you. Questions? Yes, please. I have a question. This year you had uh, great projects put together under the state order. How actively do, did you use phase one for these state projects? Do you do your own plans on this work? And uh, second question, you build true author or just ortho within those tasks that the cart Ross Cartography has? And a very small question. Some companies from Ross Cartography are using DMC, others RDS in different for different scales. Of course, you use you, you are the only company, as far as I know, who uses Phase One. Of course, the company directors communicate with each other. In what ways Phase One is better than or worse than other cameras, based on the experience of this year? I'll try to do it one by one. The volume of work on the state contract was more than. 500,000 square kilometers for aerial photography out of them. Phase one is used as owners of this equipment. We generate about 10% of the overall volume of imaging. So it's about 50,000 square kilometers done but with phase one this year by the aerial photography system phase one. Naturally, the terms of reference doesn't uh, contain the task to generate true ortho. We generate uh, standard or conventional ortho photos. Ross cartography, for them, phase one complex. We are the only ones who own phase one. Nobody else in Russia owns this. In terms of the advantages and disadvantages of phase one, perhaps I will start with a small deficiency in uh, this bright rosy picture. It would be great if we could get more holistic approach for them from the manufacturer in terms of its system and its technical follow-up. This is the main complaint that we have about the system. But I have mentioned that all the problems, whatever problems popped up and difficulties that we had in the course of our operations, the manufacturer got in touch with us and together with us they rectified them on time.
in terms of advantages first of all we looked at the value of the camera and the tasks that we were going to address what we had in mind was large scale large area surveying targeting big cities so these were the initial parameters that informed our choice and only as we proceeded to use it we realized that uh, it's not such large scale area but something smaller <coughs> that we need to cover in the next two years we realized that even for those tasks this complex is very suitable I hope I answered all your questions other questions Pavel you compared the latest model of phase one I understand, right? 1900 RS. You compared it with DMC1. What about DMC DMC2? But what about DMC3? Have you run any comparisons? We have, but uh, DMC3 has a larger frame format, so the um, performance is incomparably greater, but the cost of DMC3 also several times higher than phase one. So we targeted a certain price level that we wanted to fit. Other questions? I think your time is up. Thank you once again.